Ladies and gentlemen, hello, and you are watching TTP News, some latest events in the province. And now, coming to details. Dear audience, Tainan has just become the first province of Vietnam to launch the media app called Tainan Smart on Zalo. With this app, users neither need to download and install its application individually, nor do they register for a new account. All information and utilities of Tainan Smart can be accessed directly on Zalo. The mini app version Turning Smart on Zalo provides many utilities such as online application submission, field reflection, online Q&A, 4.0 store registration, online tuition payment, what TV listen to radio online, update propaganda news from local authorities. It's expected that many other utilities will also be developed as more and more people are interested in. People just need to search for the keyword turning smart right on Zello, then choose the mini app turning smart to be able to use the utilities. With the launching of turning smart on Zello, turning has brought technology utilities closer to people and businesses in the area, helped simplify the steps of assessing and using the application, ensuring that people of all ages and professions can use it easily. This is the breakthrough step meeting the needs of the people in finding information and using the utilities provided by the government. Optimizing management efficiency and operation of state agencies towards the goal of building better e-government, digital government and digital transformation in the province. The audience then in TV audio YouTube channel of the Nguyen television station has just hit over 100,000 subscribers. With this figure, the channel will receive a silver button from YouTube. Tinan TV Audio YouTube channel was established in mid-July of 2021. This is a channel specializing in posting radio products of Tinan Radio and Television Station. The station broadcasts live on its channels to radio programs at 11.30 a.m and 5 p.m. Reporting live the lottery draws of the province lottery at 4.10 p.m. every Thursday. Besides, special live program also broadcasted on the channel suggests knowledge connection, virtual assistant news tellers, 24 hours movement program, and also receive the free attention from the YouTube users. This YouTube channel also regularly broadcasts major program and events of the station of the province. According to statistics, the TV Audio YouTube channel has nearly 120 million views so far. Previously, the YouTube channel of Tenen TV also received a silver button from YouTube and currently has nearly 200,000 subscribers. Turn to audio news. The audience, the Ao Yai Week, has been launched by the Vietnam Women Union to all losses of women across the country since 2019. The event is held periodically in the first week of March every year to honor Ao Yai, the traditional rest of Vietnam. In the province, the Women Union, in collaboration with the Labor Confederation, launched the Ao Yai Week to cater civil servants, public employees, and workers with many exciting activities. During the Ao Yai Week, from March 1st to the end of March 8th, the local women are encouraged to wear Ao Yai when working in the office. Especially on the International Women's Day, March 8th, this year the unions also campaign to donate used Ao Yai to give to women who don't have this traditional dress. Up to this point, the Horn province has raised about 20,000 sets of Ao Yai, which will be displayed at the Zero Dome Ao Yai store for disadvantaged women to choose to wear during this special time. This is the way to strongly spread the movement of wearing Ao Yai, as well as preserving and honoring the beauty of Ao Yai, the traditional dress of Vietnam. Over the past time, administrative reform in Goyao District has achieved the good results, creating trust and satisfaction for the people. In 2022, the Division of Receiving and Returning Results of Goyao District handled administrative procedures in accordance with the authorities and prescribed procedure received over 7,000 doses in person online and through the public portal service. 
of which more than 16,900 applications were processed on time, reaching over 99%. Currently, 100% of administrative procedures under the handling competence of the District People's Committee, Spectrular Associates and the People's Committee of the Communes and Town receive and return results to the one-stop system. Chetan Border District currently has a total poultry herd of more than 911,000 heads. Only about 190,000 upwards are raised on smallholders. The rest are raised on concentrated farms. The number of smallholders is decreasing softly. Meanwhile, large-scale farming tends to increase gradually. But on poultry, farmers are highly aware of the prevention of avian influenza. Poultry trading continues normally on a small scale in the domestic area, with no sign of exchanging poultry and poultry products across the border. Mr. Le Duc Duang, head of Chutan District Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Station, said that the risk of influenza epidemic imported from beyond the border is very low. However, the professional sector still closely follows and monitors the situation in the coming time. The station has properly implemented the vaccination process. The coordination in control of poultry transport and trading has been strengthened in the new situation. It also recommends the locals to strictly implement disease prevention and control measures, don't buy and sell poultry and poultry products across the border, carry out regular disinfection and sterilization of bands, vaccinate pests on a regular basis. The Arts and Literature Association in Thailand province on March 3rd organized a two-day arts creativity camp to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the traditional day of Vietnam photography, March 15th of 1953 and March 15th of 2023. The creative camp was held on the top of Bali Mountain with the participation of nearly 20 photographers who are members of the Photographic Association, the Arts and Literature Association of the province. The photographer focused on exploiting the beauty of scenic complexes in Green Vengsung Bay Square and Flower Garden, the complex of spiritual architecture works, the cable car system, and also the station system. In particular, as sunset, the photography members were excited to capture an assisted picture painting taking place around the area of the Bola Sung Butter Statue and hunt clouds together at the transition between day and night. After two days, the members of the Photographic Association have produced thousands of artistic works, praising the majestic beauty of the wide natural scenery and the long-standing spiritual architecture complex called the Group of the South. The audience with the mindset keep working as long as we are healthy, Mr. Nguyen Thanh Jin, Chairman of the Hội Commune Association, of the elderly in the Yau district has constantly met for being exemplary and leading in the movements of the association as well as in economic development. With his for and achievements, Mr. Jin deserves to be one of the typical advanced or men in the locality. Mr. Nguyen Thanh Jin is an exemplary elderly leading in emulation movements, doing good business. His family has long chosen to do farming, cultivating to develop the economy. With the available advantage of 30 hectares of land, Mr. Jin began to plant trees, mainly rubber trees in the group with cassever. At the beginning, his family faced many difficulties due to the lack of facilities, leading to failure to ensure the growth and development of plants. With his own will and determination and the spirit of not being afraid of hardships, Mr. Jin has learned experience in many places, as well as research plant varieties. Since then, he applied to develop his own garden. Until now, when his income is stable, Mr. Jin has joined the Commune Association of the Elderly and holds office as chairman of the association being both good and active in the association work from the very first day of his assignment. Mr. Jin and the executive board have made the movement of the Tung Hoi Association of the Elderly to be increasing developed. Especially, he focused on health care for the elderly and disadvantaged members in the locality. At first, we were also very confused. 
but then I caught up with the work. Firstly, I find a way to take care of the elderly. I'm also an elderly person, but I really want to take care of the older ones and protect the human resource organization from the elderly. And the second is to build the intergenerational self-help clubs. So far, there have been five such clubs. Being at retirement age, but Mr. Jin is always devoted to the association work, especially on holidays and New Year, in order to give more strength to members with difficult circumstances. He mobilized many sponsors, organized many charity activities to help the elderly get free eye surgery and treatment. That worse than all, he also enthusiastically helps people around share and create jobs for many households. My family's job is stable, so I have more time to take care of the elderly. From his contributions to the locality, as well as his hard work and efforts in doing business, Mr. Jin is always loved and respected by the people around him. Mr. Jin is a responsible person who knows how to share dividends with those who are more difficult. Since assuming duty, it must be said that Mr. Jin has done very well and has been rewarded by the party committee and the people's committee. Mr. Jin is a very, very good producer. He often helps neighbors, such as landing plows, helping to reap many results. From the money he earns, he also uses it to do charity work. With his unremitting efforts and dedication, Mr. Jin overcame difficulties and got rid righteously. Since then, he has continued to encourage and help many people to develop together. With the contribution of Mr. Jin, the activities of Tân Hội Kumil Association of the Elderly are also increasingly developed. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for watching and see you next time.